Hi. So, I've made a bit of progress with the 3D printer. So, from last time, we have now a fully functional x-axis, y-axis. I mounted the extruder up here. I'm using a Bowden, the small motor they don't really work. So, let's go a bit in details. So, uh, the bed it's just a uh, plexiglass for now okay so main changes I did here I replaced the I just put a wheel it's just a normal wheel like uh, this one I had an extra one it's actually the one from here because it's just one here and two here and it works uh, better and, uh, it might be even cheaper if you have it on hand uh, on the Y I didn't have another one so I'm just using uh, these uh, spacers mm, it seems to work quite well for now I don't really like it maybe I'll source another one or I'll see what I'm gonna put I just wanted to give up the extra um, these pulleys so you basically now just need one here and one here and that's it it makes things easier to build and cheaper okay so uh, what did I do and this one it's mobile phone okay so there's a, you need a way to fix this the profile so it, it doesn't move like this so I made from wood these pieces this one here that one there and another one here basically it's just one block of wood it was this and that one here and I just cut this piece from here and then I just made another cut here so it was just a piece of wood like this I cut it in two and then another one like this basically I built some L, uh, L brackets I wanted to use initially something like this, some metal ones, and maybe just drill in it, but I, I couldn't find ones because you see this this one, I have an extra one. It's 42 millimeters from here to here because it's NEMA 42, and 42 is the size from here to here. In the middle, it's exactly 21, so this is here, it's 21 millimeters. And I couldn't find something like uh, this, that, or anything else that had the hole. And I just had some wood uh, available. And I, I did this. Uh, as I mentioned, I have a, a jigsaw. If you cut this by hand, it's going to take quite a while. Because the first time when I built my first printer, I cut these plexiglass things with a uh, hand saw. And uh, it was quite a pain to cut them. <laughs> A jigsaw makes the rat faster. Okay, so you need the, this one here because this one it will spin because it's just connected with one screw from the bottom. Like this, now it's fixed. This one it's not connected to anything, it's just floating. Uh, I'm gonna replace this one with a flexible one because this one it's a solid one. And uh, ideally you'd have here like an old ham coupler one that allows you to move freely in all directions but for now I think this one works quite well so nothing needed here uh, okay so I, I put these extra pieces of plywood here and there and one here because um, when you bring the Z axis to the minimum here uh, the extruder here is too, too high so it cannot uh, touch the print uh, base so I need to raise it by one, two levels. I could have, instead of using this one here, just put another two, two here and two there, but it's less wood like this and it's easier. So I, in order to fix this part, it's just fixed on one of these. I just drilled a few holes here. You can see that this one is not exactly straight. But uh, this this four are, but three are enough. It's fixed enough for now. And I'm gonna just use this double tape. 
and uh, fix the plexiglass for now on this and see how straight that is otherwise I have some springs that can adjust so we'll see about that later okay so that's the X now let's see at the Y what I did here it's basically I had this a few pieces of this plexiglass that I used uh, in my later in my older print laying around and I just cut one uh, in two here actually how I build this one it's initially I drilled a few holes here of course one always goes off center <laughs> let me show you see it's a bit off center but two are enough anyway I wanted to drill another one here but you, you only need you only need two so it uh, doesn't move like this or anyway uh, then I drilled the, the 12 millimeter hole in here in the middle so the uh, this one can fit in here uh, then I drilled uh, with uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, two holes like this for the a screw and then I cut it uh, like this uh, this one, if you can see, let me zoom a bit. It didn't went straight, and it got it kind of went in diagonal and got out of here. But uh, it still holds, so no problem. This one went quite straight. So you, as you can see, let me see if I can show you a bit from this side. Actually, let's Yeah, so you see, this is how it is. You can find some, uh, there were some pre made pieces like this, but I think they were like in the other angle. Anyway, this is how I solved it this time. Uh, I, I'm still using this uh, bracket made out of two. I, I was using this one in my old uh, version to put the probe here, the induction probe. Problem is, um, then I was using an aluminium bed that was like three millimeters thick, and it was working. With this one, it will not work. I'm thinking of maybe trying to put some uh, aluminium alimentary foil, the one you use on the food, and see if it, that it will pick it. Maybe I stick it on this instead of the paper. And uh, if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna put uh, a normal end stop here. And that will touch this side. Or maybe I will uh, experiment because I, I already built uh, an end stop uh, probe here. But we'll see how that works. Okay, now for the end stops. Here, it's exactly the one I was using on my old printer. It's just an uh, in induction. Actually, this one is a hole sensor put on this piece of color is just fixed with this clamp on the side of this so it's not fixed on nothing, nothing but it, it will not move because there's nothing pushing on it and the magnet here between these two screws I like very much these ones because they do not touch so there is no wear and very easy to fix because nothing will push on them and the second one, this one, will probably stay here. And I'm using two magnets. On, you see they basically hold on each other. And when the bottom one come close to this, probably I will need to drill a hole in this wood and fix this one here. So we have end stop, end stop. I will need to do a bit more testing with this one or one here and uh, basically that's it and here I put the my dual drive extruder I was using before I just fixed it on, on top of this I think that's that's all for now uh, next time I'm gonna connect the my board and all the electronics and uh, next time we'll see each other it will be running doing some homing maybe even printing hope you enjoy it like and subscribe for more